So now in this video we have a circuit that looks like the circuit we did in the last video except for we have a light dependent resistor now instead of a photodiode. Light dependent resistors are more common and uh, while I was making that video I mentioned you could use light uh, dependent resistors um, that you might need to use a different value uh, pull up resistor here but uh, I was wrong on that. I wasn't uh, thinking right. But in any case we have the 555 timer. I'm gonna turn the lamp off there. There's a little light though that uh, still hitting the board. And you can see that the output is high. And uh, when we have enough light and this lamp's uh, lowest setting is still bright enough, then we have the output that is low. So let's look at why. We have a flip-flop. I would guess this would be called uh, wiring because we're just using pin two and pin four. For, uh, let's do a pin two first. So when you have a low enough input less than one third of the supply voltage, then uh, pin two, the trigger pin, sets the output high unless something stops it from doing so. But that's what it wants to do. Here we have a pin four. Pin four is the reset pin. It is more powerful. That's why I say unless something can stop it. Pin four can stop uh, the output being high and force it low no matter what. We need also, they're both uh, low triggered they wait for a low enough voltage and uh, so we have the light pen resistor there enough light falling on it it pulls the voltage uh, down and um, so if we had a low value resistor we would need an extreme amount of light I wasn't thinking about this earlier because we need to get down to like 0.5 volts or something based on earlier testing I did so for our pull-up resistor right here to uh, help keep the voltage up before we lower it. I have a 100K resistor, I actually definitely got 10K because I copied the wrong uh, circuit uh, in my files. So in any case, it uh, wants to hold it five volts, um, but you got enough light, it pulls it down. Hopefully that makes sense. Pin six is the threshold pin. It's waiting for two thirds of the supply voltage. So enough uh, rambling there. We'll look at the circuit and uh, since we have a uh, pin six to the negative supply to prevent it from doing anything. It's the threshold pin. That's where I put the light dependent resistor, help get it out of the way a little bit. And there's our 100K resistor. So that's at the reset pin, pin four. Of course we have to power it, pin eight to the positive supply and a pin one to the negative supply. I'm using five volts, uh, pin two there, trigger, uh, just tied to the negative supply right there. You could put a resistor there too or something if you, you want to, you don't have to make a direct connection. And it doesn't really matter how much uh, resistance you got there, it'll see zero volts if you put it in a negative supply. And then over here we got our LED. So right now the output is low. You can see we got the positive supply there. So the other side of the blue LED that's long lead anode up there, short lead cathode, uh, must be connected to ground. And it does a really good job connecting to ground. When I turn the light off, you'll see the red LED light up or I could just cover it as you can see there. So um, that was not dark enough. So there's no hysteresis with this. There we go, we got it dark enough. So right now when or when the red LED was lit up, then we were getting, it wasn't five volts, you lose some voltage this way, um, but it made its way, you can see the negative supply right there. So in any case, this is more likely to be seen. Again, you don't have hysteresis though. If you got a middle ground voltage, then, um, or maybe even if something's kind of pulsing, bouncing around, within that range, uh, there is no middle ground. Each time it moves up and down, right out of the range for, this uh, reset pin, it's gonna bounce around. We could do like feedback with the output or, or something. But in any case, this is just uh, one of the options if this looks like the preferred one for you to use at any given time. I used 1K resistor because blue LEDs are brighter than the red LEDs at the same current. So the uh, blue LED, it drops more voltage and a higher resistor will give it a lot less current than the red LED. But uh, in this case with 220 ohms protecting the red LED, and the uh, drop voltage there, they're similar in brightness. 